Hi, welcome to Uncouching. I am going to demonstrate a video today making banana bread. I've had several requests for that and I use frozen bananas. So I'll just take out three, four, five frozen bananas, put them in a bowl and put some cold water on them in the sink. And then I'll start my banana bread recipe. And by the time I need the bananas at the end to mix in, they're pretty well thawed, even if they're not completely thawed. Um, you can still get the peel off and mash them up. So they're gonna be kind of soupy, but that makes your banana bread really um, moist. So um, this is a quick recipe. I'm not gonna be in the video. So that's why I'm giving you a little bit of a, a heads up here at the beginning, but I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, I hope you enjoy the recipe. We start out with two cups of all purpose flour. one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, two beaten eggs, a half a cup of cooking oil, or you can also use melted butter, a cup of sugar, and then I'm adding in about a tablespoon of vanilla. Go ahead and put it in your mixer and mix that up until it's well combined. Now we're gonna add in one and a half cups of mashed bananas or about five medium bananas and about a half a cup to a cup of chopped walnuts, depending on what your preference is. Now I have a nine by five by three inch baking pan that I'm spraying with cooking spray. I'm gonna go ahead and add the batter right into the pan. And you're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for between 55 and 60 minutes. I generally check mine after about 50 minutes. I will insert a clean knife into the center and if it comes out clean, it's ready. If not, I'll put it back in for another 10 minutes or so. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy this recipe.